We're going now to turn to the panel. Quick look at some news of the week. We'll focus a little bit on Hillary Clinton here. We had a bunch of stuff in the NBC News Wall Street Journal poll that has uh, needs to find its way onto the show here. We found that Clinton's reputation has taken a bit of a hit with all the focus on uh, the financial dealings of the foundation. 42% now have a negative opinion of Mrs. Clinton, which is even with her positive rating. And that negative rating, by the way, is up six points from the last time we tested in March. But guess what? She still leads all the Republicans in our poll, topping Rand Paul, Jeff Bush, Marco Rubio, and Scott Walker. Top and Scott Walker, by the way, by 10 points there. Kathleen Parker, <clears throat> uh, has Hillary Clinton weathered this storm? Or is just this be the beginning of what of more storms to come? Oh, I think we have a stormy season ahead for Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. um, look, I don't think those statistics tell us much at this point. The trust question we just learned from what happened in Britain is the yeah. most important factor when a voter goes to cast its ballot, his ballot or her ballot. Um, and Hillary Clinton's trust uh, value is, is, as you say, it's in decline, but I don't think it's going to improve as the campaign proceeds. She still has other hurdles to cross, mm -hmm. including the Benghazi question questions that will come up. She can handle those if she does it properly. She can handle possibly the emails, but I'm doubtful on that score. So trust is really going to hurt her in the long run. And I think that the, the fact that she's still leading the Republican candidates has to do with the fact that some of these candidates yeah. are not as well known. Remember, people don't really start paying attention as soon as we do. Fair uh, enough. Okay.